Hello all, welcome back to Learning Partner. If you are new, please do subscribe. This is another channel where you can directly connect with me. We have around 1000 plus members already who are working. We take live coding sessions and everything so to just get notified about those sessions. Please do join this group. So up till now we have completed our gate API integration. Then we have saw post API integration, like how do we create car? Then we have seen the update also. So let me just show you all that. Then I will be starting with the delete thing. So on click of load car, we are getting, we are making the get API call, whatever the data we have. Let's check how many data we have. Currently we have 21 record. And if I, this is get API, then if we have to create new car, I can create that also. Let's say in the form, I will provide the definite uh, registration number, Maruti. Let's say Omni, let's say 2000. Then color red, daily red something. Car image URL, I don't have image URL right now. So I'm just putting something. So let me show you the network tab also. So on click of save car, we will be able to see one API call over here. So once we click on save car, see, we are able to see one API call. After this, create new API call, you can again see get car. So that whatever the car you created, that will be again visible in the table. This was post operation. Once we click on the edit, let's try to edit this. So you can see wherever I'm clicking the edit, that particular record is getting popped up. Let's try to uh, edit this one record, Excel 6. So you can see that record got over here. Instead of 8,600, let's make it 2,300. Now you can see update button is there. Now once I click on update, you will be able to see different APA call. See, update API call is there. And again, once we do the update, again, we are making the get API call. So that latest record will be visible. So let's check the XLS where it is. Yeah. So here you can see 23,000 is there. So this was the update thing. Now the only part is remaining in the CRUD operation is the delete part. So for delete, just like for edit also, we have added button. Like which word record you need to edit. Just like that, we will need one more button over here to delete. So let's go to our HTML code. Now, over here in the table, we need one more button. Let's add it. So let's copy this. And here it will be delete. For delete, just let's add a danger color. So that red color will be there. And here on delete. Fine. Now, let me show you the API first. If you see the API, here you can see delete car by id delete car by car id delete method is there and what we need to pass just the car id means our primary key so instead of passing this whole function i will be passing just the car id as a parameter let's create this function now right again this dot http dot delete method is there now fine so let's just get the URL. Now let me show you the URL, how URL should be like that. On click of try it out, you will be passing some ID, execute. So we need, this is a delete API and we need to pass the parameters. So see, question mark our ID, like this our URL should be there. Let's copy it, paste it. Delete only require one object that is URL, fine. So if you see over here, only URL is there. We don't have data, fine. And instead of this static one, now while calling this function, we are passing ID also. So that ID, we need to catch it over here. ID colon, we are going to get number data type. So that's why we will go to number. Now after this car ID, again, we will do the concatenation of ID so that wherever we click, that car ID will be dynamic. Then subscribe, round bracket, round bracket, result, colon, any. Then our arrow function, fine. Then again, as I said, like in delete, add and update, we need to write this if and else check just to make sure like API call was success. So that I'm adding result if car deleted success. And after that, we are making get API call so that we will able to see the new records. Fine, let's check now. So once I click, you can see we have got edit and the delete button. Now let's try to make the API call. 
So just make sure on the network tab is selected and the fetch XHR is also selected. Now, this BS6 model of BMW, let's try to click on delete. So now you can see in the API call, the car ID we have got 1110 and car deleted successfully. See, that record also got removed. Let's try to delete this Mahindra. So remember, uh, when we deleted the first car, we got the ID that is 11110. Now, if I try to delete this, see 11114, means whatever whatever the car you are trying to delete, that car ID you are passing in the URL. But now there is a problem. Once I click on delete, let's say buttons are very co-aligned. But by mistake, if I want, I wanted to edit, but somewhat I clicked on delete. But as we don't have any confirmation, so by default, my API will go there and my record will be deleted. So whenever we do the edit, uh, whenever we do the delete, right? So we have to ask user for the confirmation. So for now, we have to modify this function. So before making the API call, we need to show the confirmation box. So constant is delete is equal to just like the alert box we have confirm box also confirm box will have two button okay and the cancel if user clicked on okay we will get true over here otherwise we will get cancel and here we can show the message are you sure want to delete like this if user clicked on okay here we will get true value so is delete equal to true just a comparison i'm doing if we got true value then only this piece of code should be executed. So this we will put it over here. In else, we don't need to do anything, right? So let me just add a debugger and let's test this code. Now, if I click on this delete, you can see we got OK and the cancel button. Once I click on cancel, here you can see we got false. Let's try it again. If I click on cancel again, see, we are getting false over here. So if it is false, it will not go inside our block, right? Because that is the condition what we added. Now, if I click on delete and if I click on OK, now you can see we got true. So if it is true, it will go inside our condition and our API call will be there. Car deleted successfully. So this is how we complete the delete operation. So by this delete operation, we have completed our basic API integration and we have completed a CRUD operation of the car. Fine. So I hope this was helpful to you. Again, see, uh, whenever we talk about Angular or React or Vue.js or any front-end uh, front library, the major part is API integration because when we work in a project in any company, mostly we do is API call integration. We design the form on click of save. We make the API call. We get the data from API call. That data, we need to show it somewhere. Every time means whatever the task you are going to, there won't be a single task where you won't be using any API. So understanding API, how APIs behaves, where you have to call which API is very important. So if you are in the learning phase, once you complete the basic tutorial now, make sure you at least complete two to three projects from whatever the projects I have, or you can use another APIs also. But make sure you complete two to three projects, then only you will get the idea how API works, where you need to use which API. If you just complete one project now, that won't be enough. You need to complete at least two to three projects. Then only you will be at a stable position where you can understand API. Once you understand the API, that's it. Remaining topics like NG, PNG for signal, these are very single, single time we might be using. It's not daily, but this is what we have to use daily. Fine. And once you understand the API, you will understand the project also, like how project flow is there. Clear? So that's it. Uh, so this was a small episode. Now, from next episode, we will be slowly moving to the advanced part. Now, all basic things are completed. No, uh, like uh, pipe is there. Again, some two, three basic concepts are there. Once that is done, then we'll be moving towards the advanced concept. Fine. So that's it. If you are new, please do like, subscribe, and please do join WhatsApp channel. I have provided link in the description. I normally take the live session and everything. So just to get notified on those, you can join that WhatsApp link. That's it. Thank you.